Today I'm in the village of Ashbury and we're right up on the Ridgeway. Um, for anybody that loves walking and village life, then this is certainly a village that you should be considering if you're thinking of moving at the moment. And the house that I've brought uh, you to see is over my shoulder and it's called Triangle Cottage. So the reason for its name is this triangle of village green behind me, which has the war memorial. Um, this village is full of pretty thatch properties as you can see uh, over my shoulder and behind me we have the village pub the Rose and Crown which is very popular and uh, serves excellent food and I think was doing takeaways during lockdown as well. So um, a very very lovely village there's a, an attractive um, centre to the village with the old properties uh, there's a coffee shop um, was a village store at one point. I'm not sure if they're still selling uh, household goods. But uh, there's also a very popular village primary school here as well. So I'm going to first of all cross the road and show you the garage and driveway and then we'll take you into the cottage itself. So here we are, Triangle Cottage. Um, it's been completely refurbished by the present owners over the past um, five or six years, including a new thatch. So that's good to go for another 20, 25 years at least. Um, it's just such a pretty setting, this quiet little village. A couple of cars have passed by and a cyclist, as you saw. Um, it's soon time for the primary school to be going home, so that's... Uh, will explain some of the traffic and here we are with a detached garage it's um, what I would call a one and a half a single and a half and we have at least two off-road parking spaces to the side and to immediately to the front of the doors as well but the neighbour behind me has a right of access so we need to keep that clear for them and you can see there gate there. So the property has entered into a porch with a nice window to the side. We've got lovely slate tiled floors in here and a very practical coat cupboard. So we're already being welcomed and into the inner hall which leads through in turn to another practical boot room with sink and window to the side and in behind this door is a cloakroom. So straight away you can begin to see the amazing period features in this beautiful home. So we've got Victorian tiled floor throughout this part of the house. The windows to the front have window seats you can just drink in this beautiful chalkstone walls all around us and these lovely exposed beams. So much character in this home. It presents beautifully. Wood burning stove in the fireplace. And a nice little opening here into what is a family kitchen dining room with doors onto the rear garden. Come back to the kitchen in a little while. I'm going to take you through to the study. Uh, this is an important space in most people's homes at the moment and so many more of us are going to be working from home for the foreseeable future. So a nice cosy little space, not too far from the kettle, which is always good news when you're at a computer all day and it connects again with the boot room and the cloakroom that we looked at earlier. So coming down the kitchen, contemporary kitchen, it's a nice blend of the modern with the old. We've got the ceramic hob, induction hob, and the electric oven, nice wooden worktops, practical sink, and into a utility room with another sink. And we've got space here and plumbing for the washing machine, tumble dryer, 
there's a pressurised hot water tank and beyond that door is a little boiler room which also has a bit of storage as well. So this is almost a walk-in pantry as well as um, a utility room. And at this end of the house we've got a very cosy family room or snug. Again window seats to the front, another wood burning stove and built-in cupboards to the side. It really is a lovely cottage, beautifully refurbished. This home has two staircases to the first floor. Uh, first of all, we head up to one of the double bedrooms. Storage on the landing here. Good use of space here with this lovely circular bookshelf. And we're straight into an ensuite bedroom. So whilst there's a single bed in here at the moment, there is space for a double and nice high ceilings. Beautiful floorboards. And into the shower room. White sweet, sweet little windows. In the middle of this floor is the largest of the two bedrooms where we have a large double bed, windows to front and rear. Pretty little seat there again. Perfect spot to sit and uh, look out at the pretty village. Bank of wardrobes to the side through to a second landing. So this staircase comes up from the dining room. Here we have a very large, you might call it a twin, you might call it a double, but there's almost two rooms interconnecting. So you would, you would easily get a double bed in here as well, but it would also suit maybe uh, two children sharing with two single beds, wardrobes again. And on the back of the cottage, yet another double bedroom with the most fabulous bay window, nice deep windowsill there. And again, behind me, this bank of wardrobes. So the storage is really excellent in this home. And a little peek again of the garden. Finally completing this floor is the family bathroom where we've got a, a pretty roll top bath, wash hand basin, WC and a shower cubicle in the corner as well. Nice high ceiling in here. these lovely timbers. So this is the rear garden which is very very generous and nice and mature as you can see. So we have a, a, a little outbuilding stroke storage shed to the side with the pedestrian gate which takes you around to the garage area and a large area of lawn with some beautiful mature trees so a nice silver birch there. large greenhouse, a nice variety of, of shrubs and plants in the borders. This is a productive apple tree. And to the bottom of the garden, this is obviously making quite a good Babington court at the moment, but you could create a fantastic kitchen garden here um, or use it for other sports, maybe a a football goal or something like that for the children but you are completely private down here it's not overlooked at all and if I take you back up to show you the back of the cottage from here such a pretty thatch cottage so don't forget the thatch was done uh, within the last few years 
so that's going to be good for another 20 or 25 years or so often with thatches you do need to do redo the ridge at some stage but uh, other than that this home is ready for you to move into So at the side of the property, we have um, a footpath straight through to the garage area, a uh, nice concealed bin store, and that's the gas tank. And to the front, very pretty rose beds and a gravel pathway. So that's Triangle Cottage. If you'd like to come and have a look, please give us a call and we'd be happy to arrange that for you.